Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. It is now 5:54 a.m. Hello guys, good morning. We yeah. woke up at five. Yeah. Now nowadays every every day we wake up at five. Mm -hmm. Five a.m. Now it's 5:54 guys. Wala pala kong klase today. <laughs> Uh, joke lang, joke lang. Yeah, aga ko gumising. And right now, meron akong classmate na nagpapatulong. So, bago kami pumunta sa aming morning walk, tulungan muna natin siya kasi medyo nahihirapan siyang hanapin kung saan ba dapat i-upload ang aming task for this week. So, we will help her. She's, call her. she's from Dominican Republic. Republic. Yeah, Dominican Republic. And then your group, one of your group may is from Dominican Republic and one is from Manila, right? Yeah, Philippines. Actually, two of them are from Philippines. I messaged the other guy too. Yeah. <laughs> Filipino representatives. The other represent one who made his introduction video. Yes. After you. Yeah. Wait, let me call Liz first. Maybe ask her. No, it's okay. Can I call? Can I call? Hello, good morning here in India. <laughs> good morning here in Dominican Republic. Yeah, so I think I'll just show you the section where I uploaded mine. But she actually sent us an email this morning. She said that she already created a forum. Uh, so everybody created their own. Yeah, so you add, you just click here, add a new discussion topic, and then here you can, you can take your video from here, or if you already created your video, then you just, um, upload it. Yeah, insert or edit an audio or video file here. Okay, that was uh, the, uh, where my confusion was, because uh -huh. I didn't know if I had to, I had to like create a new discussion topic or just reply one of your of your um, videos and then upload my video. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I will create a new one. Okay, I will be checking it later. Yes. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Oh, hi guys, we're done. Just like that? Yup. <laughs> so let's go for morning walk now, guys. Ina ando yeah. pa ako. Ask them if they want to go for morning walk. <laughs> Uncle G. Ayan si Uncle G. Do you want to go for morning walk? Chilo chilo ye? Uy! Kumon chilo ye? Uy! So fast! Hindi na siya nag-isip. No need to think twice. Just go, she said. Jackie? Kini? No, nag-stretching na siya. Chilo chilo ye? Chilo? Okay, let's go down. Very good morning. Let's go. Good morning here in Gurdaspur. Very nice. Yeah. Gising na rin si Mami. Mami just... To open. Thank you. Uh, Mami woke up too. Yeah. Uh -huh. She wakes up around 4.30. Really? 4 yeah. Every day? Every day. Ah. Yeah. Okay, go. Open the gate. Queenie, go open the gate. Queenie, go open the gate. Marunong magbukas ng pintuan. And yung gate, marunong din siya magbukas kapag may awang. Pero pag walang awang, hindi niya mabuksan. Nakalak kasi, nakapadlak. No, Pinda? No, Pinda? No, Pinda, oh. So cutie, oh. Good morning. Say good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Cutie, cutie. Cutie, cutie. Mm, antok pa siya, oh. Uncle G for the win! Yes! Winner ka today! <laughs> si Queenie. Very dusty here. Yeah. Yeah. Oo nga. Yun o. Gusto nilang lagyan to ng bricks. Pero yung bricks andi dito pa rin <laughs> hanggang ngayon. It's been like what? Two months? Three months already? Andi dito pa rin yung yeah, bricks. Yeah, they didn't fix this. 
Winnie, you want to fix it? Tingnan nyo naman kung gano'ng kaalikabok, oh. O, oh. libreng pulbo. Chicken feet. No, the, the other bird. Ah. I forgot the name, but... Mm -hmm. so, my food you tell them about your experience waking up 5 a.m. every day and attending classes? Oh, it's nice. You should tell them. Okay naman siya guys, kasi kahapon, ano, Monday, uh, yung first class namin, Tuesday kahapon, dito kaso nga lang Monday nila doon. It was fine. I was like, pabibo pa ako eh. I woke up early, like really quick. Ooh, first day! <laughs> and today, it was so hard. <laughs> Ngayon, hirap na kami. It was so hard to wake up and there is no class. Oh yeah. my God. Oh, hirap kami gumising kanina. Tapos wala pa lang class We missed eh. that um, email. email. Yeah. He emailed like one or two days ago. Some, something like that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Kasi usually kapag nag email sila sa aming, um, tawag dito, yung mar maroon kasi kaming portal na separate sa university. Tapos pumapasok din siya sa aming personal email. Yeah. Pero this time hindi siya pumasok sa personal email. Kasi dun sa, uh, tawag dito, sa email namin sa university, kailangan pa namin mag-login sa aming portal bago namin mababasa yung email. Bad luck guys, bad luck. It's okay. <laughs> but it's okay, we woke up early. Yeah. We... we... We are here with Jack and Queenie, so, and it's very nice. Oh my God, so cold. Oh, oh usually it's very, very hot nice. na, guys, dito. Grabe ang init. Yung ano, singaw lang tawag dito ng lupa, iba na yung feeling, guys. Uh, he's tired. See, guys? Tired. tired. And nobody wants to play with this. Oh, yeah, we bought this for Queenie. Sana. Ayo laro ini Queenie. Queenie this one? She's not interested. Queenie. May ilig to magkash ng bola, eh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we go in the field, like open field, yeah. and then play with it. You should play with her when she's not going for a walk, because yeah. when she's going for a walk, she's very busy sniffing here and there. So hopefully guys, we will get the results of our visa application by 20th in like of this 14 month days. or until end of this month, mm -hmm. so we, end of April. We are hoping. Hopefully. <laughs> we are not sure because and like even we spoke to one of your classmates yeah. like mark from, from manila yeah he was saying that they took six, six months, months to give him the results mm. for st study visa application mm -hmm. and the dominican republic lady mm -hmm. she said three, three months. months so they are really taking long long time yeah guys, alos lahat kaming mga classmate ko ngayon na nag-aaral online, naghihintay pa kami ng visa namin. Mga ilang-ilan lang yung meron ng visa pero hindi pa sila lumilipad hanggang ngayon. Kasi for this term talaga, ang sabi nila, halos majority ng klase namin online. Even yeah. those who are studying, studying on campus, yeah. their classes are still online. Online. <laughs> Mm -mm. For this term, yes, because majority of students chose online. Yeah. So of course they won't make even online for the class. next term. They really? Said there is a possibility that it's gonna be online. So kahit na pumunta kami ng Canada, online pa rin yung klase ko. I think it's also good. It's good. I don't have it's, to travel. I just wake up. Kasi guys, gising lang ako 30 minutes bago yung klase. Toothbrush lang ako. Tapos sa pajama pa ako. <laughs> 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 Lalagay lang ako ng lip balm, magkikilay, pupulbo, tapos attend ako ng klase ko. Ayun. And the refund policy of this university is good. I'm not sure about other universities, but this university, they said that uh, for now you can study online mm. for first three months. That means uh, first term. Mm. And in case if you get rejected, I mean by immigration, your visa application gets rejected, then they will deduct $300 and the rest of the money they will give us back. Busy na guys, busy, busy. Joke lang, joke lang. We are back. Yeah, I'm making prata. He's teaching me how to make, um, what's this, Punjabi prata? Punjabi prata, yeah. Indian style prata. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> See, still a trainee. <laughs> For breakfast, we will have prata. I already made Chapati for Jackie Queenie and the birds. Okay. So I have three prata there. Ooh, see that? Yeah. Filipino making prata. Maybe you should show them how you make the dough, how you make chapati, <laughs> prata. For your yeah, but recipe. I don't want to focus on my channel for now. Not, not for your channel. I mean, not on your channel. They're asking for the recipe. 
Okay, maybe one day we can show them. Yeah. Special. Is it that? Yeah. Keep it up, huh? He's making tea. I'm making coffee. Coffee? <laughs> no tea for them, no tea later. later. Once we are done, because they will drink later. We are hungry. We are the hungry kids. So, here's our breakfast <laughs> for today. We oh. have sweet shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the filling, guys. So, we have sweet shawarma here with fruit jam and some cheese. Salted cheese, right? Yeah coffee i added some dark chocolate inside yep. and we have many other things to eat oh my Digestive. god yeah. this is my favorite indian biscuit yeah and we are dieting right okay yeah. there is no dinner that's why we are very hungry today yeah okay? so kain tayo guys and we always eat like this uh -oh, try lang guys, but people are commenting that we uh, we look like we've been gaining weight. Really? Yeah, wait lang guys, wait. I oh. think I think I lost weight. My relatives are telling me that what <laughs> happened to you? What happened to you? Why don't you eat something? Oh guys, Cindy, I know. I think um, it was. We like, don't eat much, guys. I think I think it was like last month and two months ago. We've been start. We started eating dinner again. Yeah. But now we stop eating dinner again, guys. This is why we don't eat dinner. Just eating one more extra meal yeah, makes we'll us gain weight very quickly. Will give you extra pounds. Yeah. See, even the biscuits we are eating digestive biscuits with zero sugar, high fiber. How's the shawarma? I think you are eating the wrong one. With more jam is for you. Mm. Okay guys, sweet shawarma. You should try also, I will tell you the recipe. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the prata is nice. Mm. Thin. Okay, though, yung prata ko guys, sarap. Sarap, ma sarap? 7.05 a.m. pa lang guys. During this time, ano, usually naghihilik-hilik pa kami dyan. Hey guys, 8:44 p.m. na and medyo nakalimutan namin kayo ng very very light ano. We are on our bed. It is now at 8:44 p.m. na yata guys. Yeah. The last time we vlog was in the morning I think when we were eating breakfast. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh oh guys, yun na yung last na vlog ko kasi medyo na biging busy na ako so gumawa ako ng mga quiz namin. What else did I do? We took a nap in the afternoon. Yeah, we took. Kasi okay. grabe pagod guys. And then you were doing your uh, school work. Mm -mm. Yeah. Naging busy na, tapos nag-afternoon walk kami, tapos nagluto ako, nagtupi ako ng mga nilabhan, hindi, hindi, hindi na ako nakapag-vlog. A lot of things. Yes, afternoon. Mm -hmm. But I think, Sumit, I think we should start like just doing regular vlog. Whenever like I'm not doing school work, maybe I will just show them what we do. Okay, yeah. That's we, better. Yeah, because for now we will be just staying at home, but we are planning to go to... Somewhere. 
somewhere, guys. Yeah. Sumit will will be doing all of the booking and all that. Yeah, I will. I will plan. Uh oh, I'm just waiting plan. for the confirmation from I don't know visa results or something. I'm just waiting for that. Ah, so once it's are you confirmed, talking about outside India or inside India? Anywhere. 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 Uh, anywhere. Yeah. I, I, because I was thinking of like traveling inside India first. We will see. I will plan. Don't worry. Ah, okay. You just focus on the studies. Uh -uh. That's the most important thing right now. <laughs> yeah. And, and actually, guys, because we upload the video namin about um, going back to school, I think yesterday, and some of you are asking about the tuition fee. Um, they are saying that, like, why did you choose uh, Vancouver over Australia? Yeah. Like, why did you choose Canada? They said living expense in Vancouver is gonna be expensive, something yeah. like that. Okay, maybe you tell them about that. Oh, because okay, living expenses are high everywhere nowadays. Like, okay, I ju I just wanna uh, talk about Australia and Canada because we have many friends in Australia and. They always, I mean, we always talk over the our phone and then they tell us that the things are expensive and all, but they earn good money also, so it's fine. And then we have uh, many friends in Canada also. And so they also tell us that um, things are expensive, but at the end we get good check at, at the end of the month. So. <laughs> It's fine. Actually, guys, yeah. as you know, Sumit likes to do his plan A, plan B, plan C. Yeah. So actually, he like does a lot of research before deciding. Before like, deciding anything. Yeah, before yeah. making a big decision. So he already did his research. So alam niya na lahat ng mga yan. So I did my research on uh, Vancouver and Gold Coast. So Gold Coast is um, Australia, and Vancouver is in Canada. So. Living cost in Vancouver is little high. Uh, yes, I agree. But we chose that university because that was the how to say like the best for you for Filipinos because Filipinos gets um, scholarship. Filipinos get scholarship worth nine thousand seven hundred dollars, which is a lot of money. You know, yes. <laughs> but uh, right now nowadays they are only giving uh, what seven thousand yeah. dollars. But last time when she got admitted uh, there, uh, they offered her nine thousand seven hundred dollars mm -hmm. scholarship. So, like the total fee is around thirty six thousand Canadian dollar for two years. Then you minus nine thousand seven hundred dollars from it, so it becomes like not affordable, but it's the best price, you know, the best <coughs> rate. How for much is that? Thirty-six minus. Maybe my math 20, is very bad. Very bad. Uh, 20, <laughs> Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Yeah, somewhere there, I think. Yeah, thirty-six minus nine thousand seven hundred. I don't know how. Yeah, I, see, twenty-six. I don't know how I pass account that. Yeah, uh, accounting account. before. So twenty-six thousand. So it becomes very less. Mm. So. Yes, studies in uh, Australia are much expensive if you compare it to Canada. It's like times two. It's like times two. So oh. we will be spending around 45,000 Australian dollars if, mm -mm. if we go to uh, Australia and she studies there the same course. So 45 and where we will only spend 26 yes. Canadian dollars. Now we will be saving I a lot mean, of money. Canadian dollar and Australian dollar, there is not much difference when we uh, convert it into Indian rupees, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not much difference. So for us, it was very um, like it was important for us to decide according to our pocket. Like we can't just go anywhere and you know start uh, throwing the money and you know don't care about the money. No. We can't do that because we are responsible people. <laughs> we always yeah. think first before, um, you know, planning anything or before doing anything. So she got uh, this scholarship for here, and then in Australia also I she got a scholarship. a scollarship worth sixteen thousand dollars Australian dollars. So um, yes, Vancouver is going to be expensive. The living cost is very uh, like high there in Vancouver 
in Gold Coast, living cost is not that high compared to Canada. But when you calculate everything, it's going to be the same because in Canada, studies are much cheaper for her. I'm not talking about everybody. And in Australia, studies will be expensive. Mm -hmm. So if <laughs> the living cost in Gold Coast is, it's going, going to be cheaper. But I don't think it's going to be that cheap. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just uh, saying. Yeah. So in Vancouver, it's going to be expensive. but. Yes. When you calculate everything, it's going to be the same, almost the same. So, you know, we at the end, we are going to spend the same amount in two years mm -hmm. time. So that's why we chose Gold Coast and that's why we chose Vancouver in But Canada. then, guys, you also have to think about the future, not just like yes. about now. Now, yeah. So after uh, completing my um, study course in Canada, I will yes. be getting... Um, three years post-graduation work, work permit. permit three years yes. and then after I finish the three years actually in between within, yeah. We, yeah within the three years I can start applying for my for my PR, PR or yeah. he can start applying for his PR and then I will be your dependent yeah if we get th this visa Canadian visa I will be getting open work permit yes that means I can work for any employer like I don't need any special permission from the labor market or something and um, once she's uh, done with her studies two years studies mm -hmm. she will be getting three years work permit in that she can go for like find a, uh, <laughs> any employer who can offer her full-time job or something or we and can open yeah, our own business. we can open our own business or i can apply from my side, employer yeah. my, from my side i can apply for PR. so it's it's easier than australia yes. much easier than australia Canada is much easier for to getting settle down. to settle down to get PR very fast, and then um, in Australia it's gonna be little difficult, uh, but not impossible. Yes, that's yes. right. Yeah. So yun yung reason, guys, kung bakit uh, pinili namin yung Vancouver because mm. one of my viewers said that um, our tuition fee must be like a bit expensive because. In Vancouver? Yeah, in Vancouver because her son is gonna be studying at Nanyang University, if I'm not mistaken, in Singapore. Ah, and okay. the tuition fee is around 12,000 SGD. Uh -huh. Yeah, from what I remember. Nanyang? Is it Polytechnic? I what think so. That? Wait, let me. I don't know. I cannot remember. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Nanyang College. But you know, it depends what you are going to study. You can go for study like for diploma, advanced diploma or something and it will cost Actually, you very less. Is it? I mean in Singapore. Sing ah, okay, I'm talking Singapore. about Singapore. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. if you go for um, bachelor degree or master degree in Singapore also, it, it costs around 20,000 to 30,000 uh, Singaporean dollars. Mm. Yeah. Actually guys, yung aking tuition fee na babayaran para sa aking MBA is the same um, I mean, the tuition fee is gonna be the same for those who are gonna take diploma courses, right? In in Canada. In Canada. Yeah, so, because mamili ka same price, same pressure ng tuition fee, yung diploma or mag MBA ka. I think it's better to after go for MBA. After you get the scholarship, after you minus ah, the scholarship, okay, then it's same. It's gonna be the same. So that's why we chose MBA rather than taking instead of taking uh, any diploma or yeah because also diploma. some of my viewers uh, suggested that you should have taken diploma and then I uh, should have taken diploma as well but then why would we study diploma if we already have bachelor's degree and yeah. then go down again instead of no go up? it's not a good idea oh guys and we think we always think about the future like of course the immigration will think to why you finish your bachelor's degree because and nowadays now you study nowadays diploma. immigration officers are very strict especially. somewhere we already we both have diplomas already yeah so we finish our diplomas in singapore, singapore and then we finish our bachelor degree in poland and now yes. she's going for master's degree and you know um like how i was uh, saying that i was telling them that the uh, cost is going to be almost same mm -hmm. like if if she goes for diploma or advanced diploma in canada mm -hmm. or if she goes for this mba in this university especially mm -hmm. so the cost is same the overall cost is same 
so it's better to go for masters why should anybody go for uh, diplomas yes. so guys we will be maybe talking about more of this university maybe in depth in depth in like a separate video if you guys are interested because it is a really nice university yeah it is very good university especially for filipinos for filipinos i mean for southeast asian countries yeah you get many ben benefits mm -hmm. yeah and once we get the results from uh, canadian immigration yes we will make a special video only for oh, this yeah. university <laughs> like because we don't want to you know <laughs> yeah we just don't want to um, keep making ourselves uh, promised to mm -hmm. anything yeah guys, kasi nakakailang beses na kaming ano eh Sabi dito vlog about studying in Canada, studying in Canada Mamaya hindi pala ako makakuha ng visa You get rejected Tapos puro yung vlog namin about sa studying in Canada We are waiting for so long you know Oh um, guys, like even we waited, I We waited long for Australian visa also like 7, seven months 7 months, imagine that And now for Canada also it's been almost 5 months More than 6 that. months 6, six already guys 6 months, yeah I don't know. Our luck is not good in these kind of things. Oh guys, nung nag apply kami sa Poland Especially last yours. time. Yeah, Especially I yours. got refusal like twice. Twice is it twice? Twice. Ah, uh, dalawang beses ako na refuse twice. ng visa papunta sa Poland. One was for the first application and then we appealed then again. Again, oh, oh re refuse siya guys. The second application was approved. Mm -mm. Lagi yung ganyan kapag nag apply ako ng visa, kaya sanay na sanay na ako sa mga For ganyan. me it's always okay. Good. Yeah, I mean it's bad. I mean it's good because I already experienced it, so I know what to do next. I don't just give up because the first time I got the refusal, I started crying. I felt like it was the end of the world. Mm. So we started crying again, and I get the refusal again. Yeah. Then I almost gave up. Then on the third application, I talked the to second, the second fresh application. Uh, the second fresh application, I talked to the. To the officer and the immigration told, officer. Yeah, you just have to reason out why they should grant you a visa. Then I told that officer that there was a misunderstanding. He thought that I will be traveling with my boyfriend. Indian boyfriend. Yeah, he that's thought, why she's here. Yeah, he yeah. thought that we were like not married during that time. Then I presented him our marriage certificate. Actually, I attached our marriage certificate during the first In application. First application also. But they didn't check, even in the appeal also. Appeal, they didn't check, guys. They didn't check. Mm -mm. So he same asked officer, her, same, same officer. Same officer. Tapos pangatlong application, uh, second fresh application ko na. Then she explained. Oh, so and she was a little angry. Oh, angry na ako. Nung napansin niyang medyo angry na ako, sabi niya, Okay, there's nothing to be worried. Everything is fine. I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's what he said. Then he granted me a visa and then we moved to Poland. Yeah. So it was good. I mean, uh, you know, um, I know people have different approach when, when it comes to um, you know planning like money money when it comes to money yeah, money that's... yeah so everybody has their own uh, way of handling and planning but yeah. for us i mean we always think twice or thrice and maybe people will think like we should have like chosen the easiest way because if you think about MBA compared to diploma of I course know. for diploma you can like hand, handle um, it's gonna be easy. doing part-time job plus doing your study course yeah. it's gonna be easier but we are planning to have brighter future, future we're thinking about the future we are thinking about the future because Wasn't she's really good in studies she's really good so I I believe in her and I always um, <laughs> appreciate her and I always support her that go for studies go for MBA I'll be financing or, it Just kidding. Yeah. or go for master degree that's what I told her I didn't say go for MBA but at the end we chose MBA because that was the best um, yeah. uh, option for us I told myself that yeah. I just need to struggle a little bit more for like a year and then or, that's it. I yeah. will have a good life once I finish. I mean, we will have a good life once I finish my bachelor, uh, my MBA. Then, like my level will be straight away. We will straight away go to the managerial level. Yes. I won't have to start from the bottom because if I finish diploma, I have to start from the bottom and slowly go up. You experienced before that you 
study diploma and then they gave you the the starting job yes even you finished diploma from very good university in a uh, college in uh, singapore still you didn't get the job you wanted yes. right so it was same for me i studied diploma but i got the job like as a trainee and then they hired me as a crew leader like the lowest positions then we started going up and now she got 3 years experience in food and beverage or hospitality field i have around 6 years experience in this field and then now we have a bachelor degrees both of us from europe now she's going to study in australia or canada mba so you know we are leveling up slowly yes. slowly so we don't want to go for diploma after bachelors because that's not a good idea you know even you go for any like you go to any interview and the employer checks your cv resume and they find out oh you finish bachelor degrees and now you are doing a diploma why, why? what's wrong yeah. <laughs> why why did you choose you can't say that this was the easiest for me and mba was the Difficult. toughest for me yeah, so. so i chose a uh, diploma you no you shouldn't do that and especially when it's going to cost to you the same, the same. amount mm-hmm. so you should better take masters or phd something like that studies mm-hmm. are very important. <laughs> yeah, he also want to study but yeah. not right now for now. He no. wants me to study first. Yeah, and then I will see later on. Yeah. Like once we get PR somewhere. Yeah. So know. guys, suggest I mean ano ka lang sa inyo for those who are applying for like their visas and then you get refusal. Just try guys. If you know that you can actually correct the or or give them the additional documents that they are looking for. Like what happened to you in uh, for Poland? Yeah. Like they were requesting for X visa. Your Indian X visa was going to expire, so we renewed the X visa for India, mm-hmm. and then we submitted the second application, and they approved it. So if you can produce, yeah. And if you know that, like they did a mistake, giving you the what do you call that? The results. The result. Then you have the right to appeal, appeal. or. apply for a new or to fresh them, application to show them if they made any mistake oh guys ano na ako diyan tawag dito yeah. parang ang dami ko nang experience with applying visa so yeah. alam ko na yung mga galawan nila <laughs> sa umpisa irerefuse nila or irereject nila yung yung application pero kapag na produce mo yung hinahanap nila mga documents ayan magbabago din yung isip nila so wag kayong mag give up right away kung na refuse man ang visa niyo Try lang kayo guys as long as meron kayong additional documents na maipapakita sa kanila. So yun yung vlog natin for today. Sana nagustuhan nyo. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. And we hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye.